There's always a trip to the hardware store, but it was cool to take a moment to look at the birds uh, on the feeder. They like to hang out actually underneath my truck. They, they perch on the tires and they fly back and forth between our feeder and the, and the neighbors next door. Happy bird life. Hey everybody, it's Mr. Lynn, and I'm just going to show you my project for this. Uh, uh, I already had previously put in a, a new ceiling, and uh, just uh, a couple weeks ago I did the walls, and we are going to put a, a, a border here like with coat racks on it. And then yesterday, Saturday, I, uh, I built a box. Um, there was um, on this corner from floor to ceiling, there was the drain pipe from the plumbing upstairs. And then these are the water pipes that go upstairs. And so there's a bunch of uh, pipes in the corner and I just wanted to hide it. And so I built that box Saturday. And then today we have this uh, place up here where there's plumbing. And so I'm gonna build a trap door uh, that hides the plumbing, but still gives us access. And I'll show you what the, uh, but I'll show you a trap door that I made a couple of years ago that I'm going to model it after. You can see the one piece of frame on the right here, and I had uh, the other two, the side parts, up, framed up there already. Uh, but I had to take them down because I'm going to put um, a board, a white, a board around the top edge to uh, hide where the wall meets the ceiling because there's a little gap and it's a little uneven and so uh, that was one extra thing that I had to do today. So I got a lot of the molding up and I did reframe the trap door place. Um, I cut the door but it's been sitting outside leaning against the wall and it's kind of bowed. So right now the trap door is leaning against the heater and so it'll soften up again get to room temperature and I'm going to brace the back of it with these two more sturdy boards that are left over from another project so it'll help it stay straight. Tools that I use today, hammer, vice grips, uh, gloves, the nail gun's always a lot of fun. I also use these saw horses to hold up some really long pieces while I cut them. Uh, this table saw is really useful. A pencil to measure and uh, measuring tape, lots and lots of measuring. And this little Dremel saw is also really handy for uh, things that are too big to fit on the table saw. 